Hey folks, it's Antar, and I've got a new battle for you today, and I've got to be honest, I have no idea what the deal is with this battle. My opponent I wrote down is Giga Impact Infinity, but it doesn't look like he PM'd me through YouTube, so I'm not sure how I got this battle. And while I'm using my UU team, he's using a poke, uh, he's using a team that's almost um, half OU pokes. I mean, Latias is OU, Breloom is OU, Heatran is OU. Um, so I'm really not sure what the deal is here and how this battle came to be and why I didn't use a different team, but it is what it is. Anyway, my opponent leads off with Latias. Um, goes ahead and Dragon Pulses me. Doesn't really do that much damage because um, Patrick is so defensive. And so I figure he must probably be Scarfed. Um, I don't know why I was thinking he was Scarfed, but I just was thinking he was Scarfed. So anyway, I go ahead and switch into um, Tux, my Empoleon, knowing that I can resist that Dragon Pulse. And uh, I'll be able to set up on him with an agility, and if he doesn't switch out, go for an Ice Beam. So yeah, Dragon Pulse is doing nothing. Uh, my Air Balloon gets popped. Uh, Latias now goes for a Psy Shock, so obviously not choice. And that's going to do a decent chunk of damage. It's not, uh, uh, but it does, does about the same, actually, uh, as that Dragon Pulse. So I'm going to go ahead and get off my agility. So now I'm going to outspeed his Latias, and that's excellent. I'm going to go ahead and go for the Ice Beam. I don't really think it's going to KO, but it, you know, I'm hoping that uh, it'll at least be a 2-hit KO, and indeed it is, which is great, because even if this Latias goes for some kind of recovery move, I'll be able to wear it down over time. Anyway, Psyshock still isn't doing anything, and I'm actually was, I was actually kind of hoping it would do more damage, because if I got down to within Torrent range, my Empoleon would be so, so freaking awesome. But anyway, I finally take out that Latias, and that's great. So now my opponent goes ahead and sends out Breloom, and so I'm like, okay, well I am faster, you know, this guy could run the Mach Punch, I think he can run Mach Punch, but, um, you know, I think I can take that. So I go ahead and go for the Ice uh, ice Beam, excuse me, and one-shot that Breloom, so that's really, really excellent. I uh, don't have to deal with that anymore, and Breloom's are so annoying after all. Uh, my opponent now sends out Zapdos, so I'm thinking, okay, I'm just going to stay in with Tux. You know, I am faster, I can go for the Ice Beam. Um, I don't really expect it to KO, because uh, Zapdos' tend to be pretty defensive, and especially if he's running the specially defensive set. Uh, but Ice Beam hits, and it KOs, so Tux is sweeping through his team, and I'm like, oh, that's awesome. And he, it wasn't even a crit, uh, can you see that? So now my opponent sends out Musharna. So I'm like, okay, well, don't really have much to fear from this Musharna, so that's okay. Gonna go ahead and go for the Skull here, just to get some damage off on this guy. Uh, and, you know, it'll, it's the attack of mine that does the most damage. I get the Burn Hex, but that's actually bad for me, since he carries Synchronize. And, you know, what's that guy gonna do with, um, with the Burn? He's not gonna use any physical attacks. And so, yeah, it's really more hacks for me than hacks for him. Anyway... Uh, he goes for the Dream Eater that was a misclick. Oh, this must have been through B Smog on Battlefinder because we were having this conversation, and so I was like, it's okay, I'm just gonna go for the agility since that was a misclick on your part, and I am pretty far ahead, so, you know, I can I can afford to be a little bit magnanimous here. Uh, so yeah, he goes for the Psy Shock this turn. Um, in the long run, uh, him misclicking and me deciding to go for the agility next turn actually helps him out because I'm racking up more residual burn damage. But again, I'm far enough ahead that it's not really that much of an issue. So yeah, burn is doing uh, its damage to me, and I'm down to 20 HP. One more round of burn damage is going to take out my Tux. So I go ahead and go for the Skull here, just for the KO, uh, just to get that Musharna down, uh, because I don't want it setting up, I guess? I don't know what that Musharna would do that's really threatening. So I'm taking out his Musharna, Tux is now down, and uh, that's okay. I've swept through almost all of his team with my Empoleon. Yeah, I just love a Empoleon. It's just a great, great set. So he's got two Pokemon left as I send out Arcanine. The first is Mamoswine, the second is Heatran. So, uh, my move here is going to be completely and totally obvious. This is a banded Arcanine. I'm going to go ahead and go for the close combat, because that way I can take out both of his Pokemon, uh, and I don't have to worry about that Flash Fire boost or anything like that. And it's going to be super effective against both of his Pokemon. Yeah, so my defenses are going to get lowered, so if his Heatran is Scarf, there's a chance he can take me out with Earth Power or whatnot. But, you know, I'm just going to see how this goes, because so far, this is a body bag. I've got, I've only had one KO um, on my end. So yeah, Heatran comes out, and if it's Scarf, maybe he can do something. If not, this is a good game. He's not Scarfed. Uh, close combat to the face is going to end the match, and that is good game. So good game, Giga Impact Infinity. Uh, he has a YouTube channel, so you can go check him out if you want. Uh, so long, folks. I've actually got, like, ten seconds left of this narration, so... Yeah, um...
happy days. Okay, I'm sorry, folks. Uh, take it easy. Bye.